Now this guitar here is called a double ball guitar. Now it's not missing a headstock, it's not broken, this is intentional. Steinberger is the biggest maker of these guitars, which I believe is owned by Gibson now. Uh, the company Honer also makes them, but they're not very common. They were bigger in the 80s. Uh, Rush used them quite a bit. Getty Lee had a Steinberger bass. And White Lion made them famous. Their guitar player, Vito Brada, played a guitar very similar to this that was white. And uh, the way that this guitar is constructed is because most strings have a ball on one end, which is secured down at the bridge of the guitar, or just past the bridge. And then you would wrap it around a tuning peg up top. Now, you'll notice here, there's another ball which gets secured at the top of the neck. So, instead of having a tuning peg up here, it's just secured at the top. Now, you might ask, how do you tune the strings? Well, down here, the other ball sits in a little slider here, which is controlled by these tuners. This slider will go back and forth pulling or lessening the tension on the string to change the tuning.